Good morning. Good morning. Move this up a little bit. Charles, take it. Try to. Maybe. Got it. Thanks. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, nice. That would have been easier. The rock and roll guy. You got it right. <laughs> um, I, I, every year, not every year, but almost every year that we've been in existence since we created Power 90, we've had a trip to Hawaii or some sort of giveaway trip. And uh, we've always said that uh, it's, it's been a re-energizing experience because we come and we meet people uh, who have experienced something that we put out there and actually find out what happened when the rubber hit the road and how uh, the first year was more shocking than any, other, any year since then because it's actually, uh, that's when you really find out what the product has done and you find out that it's actually done more for people than you actually ever imagined that it would. Uh, this year we've added a new element to that because we've gotten to find out uh, not only how we maybe have changed people's lives phys phys physically and mentally, but also fiscally. And uh, I think it really has shown me more than I would have imagined how it really completes the picture that that everything is falling into place for people, uh, more so than just being mentally fit and physically fit. And that's been a real thrill for me. Um, and, uh, and to see that, and, and, and by the way, every time, I think Carl feels the same way, every time you guys come up to us and thank us for that, it's weird because you're happy that something that you've created is helping people, but you're uncomfortable because you know it wasn't you that did it. Uh, but will you accept the thanks anyway? Um, and, <laughs> um, but there's something that I wanted to bring up because it, it, it was it was brought up briefly yesterday at lunch, and I know that every single coach that's in this room, because I've talked to almost everybody here extensively about it, wants to help people achieve success in their lives physically and fiscally. And we were talking about the presentation, which was a good presentation, and got to the point and made people want to be a coach. And we were talking about ways that we can sort of express the experience a little bit more clearly relative to how being a coach is involved with helping people. And I was about to raise my hand and say something, and Kevin wisely cut things off at that moment. <laughs> he wanted to get things back to what the session was about. But I was talking to Carl, and I said, uh, it really is important that everybody understands that I, I look around the room, and I, and I see a number of people who, who are here because they first came in as customers that just wanted to change their bodies or do something to get themselves in shape. There was no physical motivation involved whatsoever. But they're here in this room right now. And and I think, I look at Tony and I'm, I see Tracy over there and there are obviously a few others. And I think, who would I want to entrust them to if they were brand new customers today to make sure that they had the best possible experience? And that's really the main point that I wanted to get across that as coaches and, and the coaches that you bring in we're entrusting our customers who are calling up right now just wanting to change their bodies in some way or change their lives or take control of something. Those are your leads. So that's the door that they're coming in. That's what they're thinking. And so that's the important part to us is that we're really taking those customers and saying, here, do your best with them and help them achieve what they need to achieve. And you know if if down the road there's a fiscal opportunity for them, there's nothing better than that. And, and I guarantee you, the reason we're doing this is we think that the vast majority of people in this country do have a fiscal opportunity or do need help in that area also. So your opportunity will come. But that's the main thing that I wanted to say is we're trusting our customers with you. We're trusting our customers with you because we already trust you. But that was the main point that I wanted to make, that if you incorporate that into the way that you live your lifestyle and the way that you coach, then we're fine. We're gonna make it anyway, no matter what, you guys are doing great, we're gonna make it. But if you keep that little human aspect in there, then we're really gonna change the way everything works, including network marketing. <laughs> so thank you very much, it was great meeting you. I know Carl's got some things to say, but it was a great trip. Thank you much better than that. Thank you. Um, but, uh, I'll try. <laughs> um, no, really, it's it has been a great uh, few days with you guys, and it is so exciting to always or, or invigorating to get a chance to look right in your faces and hear what you have to say and, and understand really what this is about. We sort of create this stuff in a vacuum, and uh, I was just having um, breakfast with Jim and his wife, and uh, he was telling me how his son is into rockets, and and uh, which 
translates into him wanting to be an astronaut or a scientist. And it got me to thinking that, you know, all of us were at some time seven or eight years old, and uh, you saw something, you did saw a TV show or whatever, and, and a dream sparked for you. And uh, and then school happened, and life happened, and maybe college <laughs> happened, and reality happened, and the dream got marginalized, and you did what you had to do to support a family and survive. And what's really invigorated me during this trip is I've heard from a bunch of 30, 40, 50, and a, even a 60-something uh, uh, tell me how dreams have been reinvigorated. Now you're a bunch of eight-year-olds who have the potential of do, doing things that you always wanted to do your entire life. You have the opportunity to teach your kids that they can do what they've always wanted to do, that there is no limitation, and as long as you have your health, you can enjoy every moment of it and get the most out of your family. Like truly, what I learned is that the American dream is not only alive, it's got an entire new holistic approach to life that is so exciting to witness that you guys just inspire me to do better and participate with you and, and I'm just so grateful for what you guys have shown me these last few days. Thank you. So, great couple uh, rest of the day and last few uh, comments here and Michael, you wanted to tell oh, people where